Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda and today I want to talk to you about why God wants you to love yourself. And I know that that may seem controversial, especially in this society where people are talking about self-love, self-love, self-love. And when they're talking about self-love, they're talking about being selfish and like only caring about themselves. But God actually wants you to love yourself, just not the way that the world says to love yourself. So first, let's look at what scripture says about this. We're going to look at Mark 12, 28 through 31. Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So when we look at that scripture, it says to love your neighbor as yourself. So what does it mean to love your neighbor as yourself? Look at what as yourself means. It means to the same degree. So to love your neighbor at the same degree that you love yourself. And that's why God wants you to love yourself so that you can love your neighbor to the best and greatest ability that you can. But when God talks about loving yourself, he talks about loving who you are as a person, valuing yourself, embracing yourself, knowing yourself. So you can only love your neighbor to the same degree that you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love your neighbor to the same degree that God desires for you to love yourself. So think about it like this. If you are someone who has low self-esteem or struggles with insecurity or seeing yourself poorly, you're most likely going to treat others that way. And I know for me, when I was really insecure, when I was really um, experienced self-doubt, self-hate, um, just could not see the worth in myself, I would put other people down just to make me feel better. So I was not loving them to the degree that God wanted me to because I was incapable of it because I didn't love myself. I didn't see the goodness in myself. I didn't see my own worth. I didn't see my own value. So I put other people down. I made them feel bad about themselves, or I talked about them behind their back, or um, just other really negative things because I didn't love myself. And so I did it to make myself feel better. And I know that is not right. I know that is not okay, but I did it. And I didn't know better. I didn't even necessarily realize what I was doing until someone had brought it to my attention. And it wasn't until I started to learn who I was and love who I was that I stopped that behavior because I didn't need to validate myself anymore. Like I had discovered who I was. I started learning my gifts and my strengths, my talents. I started learning my worth. I started learning my own value. And so I didn't need to put other people down. I learned that I was valuable because Jesus died for me. I was valuable enough for him to die for me. And you are valuable enough for Jesus to die for you. So you need to start seeing yourself as valuable. God wants you to see yourself as valuable. He wants you to see how amazing you are. He calls you a masterpiece. In Ephesians 2.10, he says, for we are his workmanship, or his masterpiece, depending on the translation. Created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So God created us with a purpose, and he calls us his masterpiece. And he wants you to see yourself as his masterpiece. He wants you to see yourself as someone who is fearfully and wonderfully made. He talks about that in Psalm 139. He tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are his works. And the more that you dive into God's word, 
The more that you learn about him, the more that you're going to learn about yourself. And God wants you, he wants you to learn about him to know who he is, but he also wants you to know who you are. He wants you to learn his character, but he also wants you to learn your character. So that's what I mean when I talk about self-love. So it's not selfishly putting myself above other people. It's not only caring about myself or only caring about my opinion or thinking that I'm the best. But it's seeing yourself the way that God sees you. Because once you start truly seeing yourself the way that God sees you, you're able to see other people the way that God created them to be then you're able to love your neighbors as yourself. You're able to love your neighbors in the same degree that you love yourself because you're going to start seeing their value, their worth, their strengths, their gifts, their talents, and you're going to embrace who they are as well. You're going to realize that that person is no longer competition, that we're all at the same level because we are all God's creations. So I want you to take the time to get into God's word and to learn about who he is and to learn about who you are. Learn about the wonderful masterpiece that God created. That's you. Learn who you are so that you can truly love your neighbor as yourself. Have a blessed day.